All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Mish Gorakzai from Pakistan, and I'm the founder and creator of ThisCodeWorks.com. ThisCodeWorks.com is a website where you can save and get code snippets that work. Because like a year ago when I was learning how to code, I realized that I was using a lot of code snippets that were recyclable, maybe from like past projects. And then I felt like I was wasting too much time searching for those snippets and wasting time searching through answers on Stack Overflow and trying to understand GitHub. And I just wish there was this one place I could go to and get those snippets whenever I wanted them. And so I couldn't find one and I thought, why not just build it? So I created this website, thiscodeworks.com, and basically it's a crowdsourced database of code snippets. And I'm envisioning one day this is the place to go to. Anytime you need some snippet for anything, this is the place you're going to go to. Um, so you can save a single code snippet. All you can do is um, you just need to add a title, description is optional, and you can save it publicly or privately. That's up to the user. And uh, you can also save multiple code snippets. Multiple snippets are like in a steps-like format. Steps is to make it easier for people with, um, little to, with little programming backgrounds so that they can understand how to implement the code without too much explanation. Um, so the website, you can see, uh, save your own snippets and you can also bookmark other people's snippets. So it's sort of turned into like a Pinterest of code. And rolling on that idea, I thought, why not add project boards as well? And I think project boards are pretty exciting. Um, what it is that if you have an idea for a coding um, for a coding project like an app or a website, you can add snippets and any kind of link that would help you build that project later, like a YouTube video, tutorial, blog, anything. And so when the time comes and you find down to making that um, that app or that uh, website, you have all the material collected and you can just start co uh, coding. I also see some business applications or creating some uh, private workspace workspaces that's integrated with Slack. And other features are in development is public profiles, where you can showcase your projects and their snippets to other people, and plugins to, um, to save that time from copying code from the website. So you can just do everything from the code editor. What I'm looking for is guidance and expertise. I would love uh, for somebody to help me grow users to at least 50,000 and somebody with a background in B2B marketing. And I like a small investment of up to $10,000 to help grow the website. That was this codeworks.com. That was amazing. And what I love about the Pinterest of code is that I see the emergence of a dev consumer. It's a hybrid developer and consumer that is uh, either not uh, just getting started or is not yet fully caught up to speed with all the processes of development. So this is a really nice entry point into the into this uh, complicated system, as you said. So tell me a little bit about who your ideal customer is. Is it someone just getting started? Is it someone joining a company? Yeah, the idea of customers, when I built this website, it was for somebody who's learning how to code because GitHub and everything is way too intimidating. So I yeah, mm -hmm. definitely did the ideal customer who I built this for. But if it does become like the database of code snippets, then it's just going to be for anybody, any kind of programmer. I mean, people who even have like 10 years of experience, they're still going through recyclable snippets. So this can be for anybody. It's not just somebody learning to code. That would be the entry point, but anybody plus businesses. Yeah, so businesses can also use it if there's their private workspaces. Um, so then they can also have like snippets which are used um, in their businesses and repeatedly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I see that with the emergence of functions as a primitive in the cloud, people are sharing smaller snippets of computation, for example. So I totally see that. So tell me a little bit more about how this constraint of code that works. I was very interested by that. Code that always works because it's frustrating sometimes to find an old out of date snippet. Have you thought about this problem? Like how do you ensure that the quality remains high? Yeah, so for quality control, I've done sort of like a Reddit type voting system so people can mm -hmm. vote on that. And I'm also adding comments as well so people can comment as well. And you can also obviously see the data to see how outdated it is. And uh, I do plan on running like uh, for JavaScript and um, some, some sort of syntax that allows you to run it with the browser so you can see it works before implementing it in your, in your editor. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, running it in the browser also would make for a lean uh, hosting operation. That's great. So uh, another thing I'm really curious about is what if I want to upgrade? What is the next step? Could I uh, ideally, for example, take these snippets and integrate them into our systems? Have you thought about kind of integrations with editors or, or maybe send them, sending them to GitHub later? Yeah, so currently I am working on an Atom plugin and a friend of mine is working on the VS Code extension. 
So the point of the code and the, and the plugin and extension is to save all that time so you don't have to visit the website. From your editor, you can save a snippet and you can access the snippet. So it cuts all those extra steps. So yeah, so we are planning on, we are working on integrating it with your editor. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. I've seen some early demos of AI that auto completes your code. So I could envision how I could be writing on VS Code and it could yeah. be auto completing to a snippet that someone else wrote. So that sounds pretty awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. And I like the journey of starting focused on the developer and I see how they could take it later on to their companies and need privacy and other features. So I'm uh, really excited uh, about your project. Thank you. Thank you.